One of the things that keeps me up at night as a marketing leader is whether we're targeting the right people with the right message at the right time. Here's how we use Caliber Mind to validate all of those points and more. I was looking at pipeline attribution broken out by persona. And this was specifically to certain website pages that I know buyers are using while they're evaluating us. The bottom axis is time to close date for those opportunities. What sales was telling us was that they were dealing with the marketing ops people. They weren't dealing with anyone higher in the organization and those marketing ops people were the champions. That's how we structured all of our material. What the data showed us was quite different. We had the CXO and VP hitting our page first, and that was 270 days out. Then we see the functional senior functional manager and functional roles hit much later. There was a gap of about 60 days for senior functional and then much more for the actual functional folks. What this told me was that we needed to make a major change on our website. The people who were deciding on the project were VP and CXO, and then they were having the marketing ops people research different platforms and validate that it fit the need. What our data was telling us is that we had a big gap between the value the CXO and the VP perceived and how quickly they were involving their functional team, which meant that our messaging was much too tactical and not focused on the gains that the CXO and VP could get from a powerful tool like Calibermine. We verified this by looking at inbound responses. So this is engagement with our brand, and these are proactive hand raises. So this includes inbound web visits, responses to prospecting emails. Um, the bar isn't too high, but we're only looking at what they proactively did, not our outreach. We don't really care about what we're pushing to them. What we were seeing is that a very big chunk of the people hitting our sites and reacting to us were in the CXO plus VP crowd, and then the functional people actually made up a smaller proportion. This verified that we needed to reprioritize our messaging, so we did. So again, big gap in time between when the VP and CXO visit our, our materials and then involve their functional team. Here's how the data changed a couple months after we implemented new messaging and changed our outbound strategy. That's a big change, but I'm gonna highlight for you, we shaved off about 60 days in our sales process. So now this is 210 days before close rather than 270. It's a pretty good improvement. We're still working on it and we need to get better, but we know we're heading in the right direction. Another big change we saw is that the time to involving the functional folks, particularly the senior functional and director, is much, much shorter. That gap, if we go back a couple slides, was a good 40 days. Now we're seeing five days, 10 days, maybe 30 days at the most. That's a huge improvement. So we know we're on the right track. And that's how we validated that we were targeting the right personas at the right time using Caliber Mind.